Hey everybody, this is 5 Minute Web Dev, and you're about to watch the very first episode of 5 Minute JavaScript. Today's topic is scope. When we talk about scope in JavaScript, we're talking about variables and where you can access those variables in your program. Scope in JavaScript is lexical, meaning the accessibility of variables is determined by where those variables are physically written in your code. So depending on where your variables are written, certain parts of your program may or may not be able to access them. And this is a good thing. If this wasn't true, then we would have a lot of variables polluting our namespace all the time, and that's not what we want. JavaScript is primarily function scoped, meaning the most understood and basic way of creating a new scope is by writing a function. When a function is called, it creates a new execution context. We'll get into execution context in another video, but for now, just know that each execution context has its own variable environment, or what we will call from now on the variable scope. There are a few instances where variables are block scoped, and we'll get into two of them in this video briefly. Now, the most important thing to understand is that inner scopes have access to their outer scopes variables. So a function nested in another function has access to its parent's function's variables. This is known as the scope chain. Let's just jump into the code and all this will become really clear. All right, guys, here we are in our editor. Let's go over some examples of scope in JavaScript. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a global variable here. Um, please don't mind the super creative variable names throughout the rest of this video. But anyway, it's a global variable because it lives in the global scope. Now, any variable that you declare in the global scope will be accessible um, anywhere in your program. A simple way to understand this is because the global scope is the outermost scope in your program, and we know that inner scopes can access outer scopes variables. Or in other words, it's the highest link, it's the first link in the scope chain. And you can go up the scope chain, but you can't go down it. Anyway, so I've created another function here called outer func, and this is going to create its own variable scope. And within that scope, I'm declaring another variable. This variable will be uh, scoped to outer func. Now I'm going to log out the global variable, just so you can see in this inner scope, I can access uh, my outer scopes variables. I can access the global variable. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create another function here called inner function. And remember, inner scopes or inner functions have access to outer functions variables. This inner function is going to have its own variable, and that will be scoped to the inner function. So now we're going to have three different scopes, the global scope, an outer scope, we'll call it, and an inner scope. The inner scope can access all the variables. The outer scope can access its own variables and the global scopes. And the global scope can only access global variables. Um, and we're using functions here, remember, because I said uh, JavaScript is primarily function scoped. And variables declared with the var keyword are function scoped. So within this function, I can access the global variable. I can access outer variable. And you'll see that when I run this, those will get logged out. Now I'm going to make sure that inner func actually gets called. And then I'm going to do something that I can't do. I'm going to try and access an inner scopes variable. You can see I'm not inside inner func anymore, but I'm trying to access its variable inner var. It's going to give me a reference error because remember you can go uh, up the scope chain. You can't go down the scope chain. Inner scopes have access to outer scopes variables, but outer scopes don't have access to inner scopes variables. Now I've just added some helpful messaging when we actually log this out so you can see what's going on, understand it better. But I've created another function and we're going to go over let variables and const variables, which are actually block scoped instead of function scoped. Now in this case, this variable declared with let is block scoped, but I've declared it at the top of my function. So in this case, it's pretty much just going to act just like the outer variable did in the other function. Now I've created another fu inner func function. I can name it the same thing as the other inner func because they live in different scopes, remember? So we don't have to worry about them colliding or accidentally using the same name, it doesn't matter. Now I create another block and I'll show you block scoping. I'm using a const variable. I could have used light here, but just so I use them both, I'll show you const. And here um, it's scoped to this if block, basically, between these curly braces. Now. If I create another block again, I'm just using if true because it's a simple way to create a block for you to see. I can log out const var. It's an inner scope 
accessing an outer scope. This time it's just the block level instead of the function level. But now if I go outside of the block in which I declared constvar, you're gonna see I get a reference error. Um, just like I did when I tried to access innervar. So it's still the idea of inner scopes and outer scopes, just at different levels, um, function and block. Let's go ahead and run this and you're gonna be able to see these things get logged out and I'll prove to you that I wasn't lying. So we see global var got logged out twice, just like in our program. The outer var got logged, but when I try to access the inner var from outside, I got a reference error, I can't find it. Same thing goes here. We see the let var, we see the const var, and then when I try to log out the const var again, it's not defined. And yeah, so those were examples of scope. Remember, variables declared with the var keyword are function scoped, let and const are block scoped, inner scopes have access to outer scopes variables, outer scopes do not have access to inner scopes variables. You can go up the scope chain, but you can't go down the scope chain. And that's scope in JavaScript. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching 5 Minute Web Dev. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what other topics you'd like me to cover in the future. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.